the best way to build your live good business. And I'm really serious about this. Hey, you can see I'm back in my Toyota van, but no Mako, that's our bed. That's a full size bed back there. My wife and I camp in this thing. It's a 2012 uh, Toyota's run forever. So we're, we're gonna keep it for a long time. We are on the lookout for a bigger van. We'll probably get a Ford E-Series van. I mean, that's what we're hearing is uh, kind of the, the way to go because we'll build out and, and we'll build it inexpensive. You can put a, a high roof on them, in, uh, meaning because I'm 6'2", so it's nice to be able to stand up or without kneeling. <laughs> and so we'd like to get an E-Series van, extended van, either with windows or without, and then we'll uh, at some point take a trip out to California because that's the best place for the top roofs and... Uh, Get a top roof so I can stand up and down. Or I can stand up. I don't know if I can stand down. but And then we'll get revolving seats so we can kind of move around. But getting back to this, it's um, the best way to build your live good business. Now, I use social media. I really do. I don't pay buy paid ads. Uh, I, I've tried safe lists. And I haven't had very good luck with them. I, I'm trying something else. Um, and we'll see. Uh, and I usually go by, you know, what... Uh, I think I have one of the best marketers as my enroller, so I kind of try what he's doing. Uh, but he's way better at it than I am. Anyway, what I do, and you're watching one right now, I shoot videos, right? And, and I put them on, I'm going to do this. I I have, uh, I don't know if, you, if you've ever watched Corey Draper. That's who I'm modeling. He puts up two videos a day. So I'm putting up two videos a day on YouTube. Uh, I make them a little longer than I used to. Mine used to be one to two minutes long. Now they're um, getting to be, you know, somewhere between five and 10 minutes. Um, but the best way, I think, and the reason that video, excuse me, I couldn't get that out, is because YouTube is owned by Google, All right? So here's what I do. I'll put a YouTube video up, um, and then I'll go put it on Facebook, which uh, I don't put it on Instagram, and I probably should, but then I go put it on LinkedIn, um, I have a, a an old blog that really it's a page builder, so I go put it on there, and it all you know it's SEO. People are starting to look at my stuff, and the last two people who enrolled in my business came from a video. Um, you know, I'm stinking believable because I put in the description I have a link to go to LiveGood. I have a couple affiliate links of things that I do and and whatnot that work for people, and um, I, I build my business now. I am not a top marketer. I mean, I am a top marketer, but you know who I'm talking about? Like, I mean, there's some people that they can get into something, they put an email out and that they're in the top 10 automatically. That's my enroller, that's what he does. Um, he, that's that's how he works. Um, Rob is unbelievable. I try to learn from him all the time. Uh, I can't do everything he does because one, he doesn't tell us all the time, I don't believe. Um, but he he's a copywriter, so his emails are really good. I'm a former math teacher, so my emails are math <laughs> written by a math teacher. Two x plus three y equals twelve. I don't do that, but it's uh, but that's how that how it is. Now, if you're brand new, guess what? To build live good, you you have to start sharing, right? You got the the way to build it is get people to take that free tour, and. I just had a teammate reach out. They had somebody gave him a fake email. I just got one last night too. And I don't know why people do that. I, I think it's really funny. They do it to get inside and then they think maybe they're gonna change it. And you know, what? that's okay. That's That just shows their weakness, not your weakness. All right, and there's a lot of different people out there that uh, I, and I, I don't understand them. I, I'm in WhatsApp and I had somebody reach out to me today and I blocked that thing so fast sent me two messages and then sent me a video. And of course, it's an image of a drop dead gorgeous girl. Um, well, hey, I am 69, almost 70. I've been married 40, almost 41 years. Am I interested in a drop dead gorgeous girl? I have one. My wife is drop dead gorgeous and I just love her to death. So I think it's funny, uh, but I think it's sad at the same time that people do that. I really do. That That's a uh, I, I don't know the mindset and I'm sure you've been scammed or, you know, you're, if you're on Facebook, your Facebook images, you know, somebody's probably taken over your profile for a while. Um, 
long story short, I, I was doing a, um, this is really interesting. I, I was do, in real estate and I had a fourplex and I had, I, I switched my banking over to uh, Wells Fargo. And uh, this was an out of town fourplex. Well, instead of sending the new blank checks to me, they sent them to the fourplex. And of course, somebody picked them up and they write, wrote checks and they wrote as payroll. Um, and it was, <laughs> I always laugh about this because it, it was uh, an Asian or a, or a Hmong person and you know, has nothing to do with that. So, uh, but I remember I, I had to call the police and I mean, it was a long ways away. I called the police and I started talking to the police chief and he said, well, what's this guy's name? And I told him he started laughing. Well, hey, I got him in my jail right now. <laughs> so all I got to do is not go down and talk to this guy in his jail. And sure enough, he did it. He said, yeah, I did it, blah, blah, blah. Wells Fargo was great. They, they did all my checks. But to tell you what, I mean, I mean that's a concern. Holy cow. Um, I, I don't understand people. I really don't. So anyway, here's the deal. Um, shoot videos. I'm going to tell you my routine. And here's one of them. I use my iPhone. Uh, iPhone, I don't even know if I got a 12 or 13. I just use it. I clear off that little lens up in front, so I try to get pretty good um, uh, video quality, if that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then I just talk. And I know if you've never done it, it's kind of scary. I mean, the first time I did it, I was kind of nervous. I was actually in a mastermind, a guy who made videos. I wanted to learn how. And what he did, he said, hey, get on your phone, make a 30-second video every day and upload it to Facebook. And I did it for 30 days. That's all I did, 30 seconds, my page. And it was just my daily routine. And I was just talking about me, nothing else. And all of a sudden it became really pretty easy to shoot videos. Now I've tried fancy stuff. You know, I have a mic at home and I have, um, you know, all the different lights and, but you know, I live in an RV. So I shoot with my, Camp, my phone a lot. Every once in a while I'll shoot, I, I do a Loom video, you know, loom.com is free. Um, so you can actually just share your screen and actually not put your face on there. That's what bothers you. Bothers you. I have Camtasia for Mac um, and I can do the same thing. I don't need my face there, but people like to see you. So I build a no like and trust just by doing these videos. And I tell you what, I'm not serious all the time because I think people get old with the serious videos. My opinion. You know, there's some really fancy videos out there and I just don't do that anymore. So, hey, if you're trying to build, live good business, you need to share, you need to get on social media. Um, you know, I, I think it was, no, I can't remember the lady's name, but she said, if you do five posts, one's on business, one's on family, and she was one on faith, one on something else. But, uh, you know, if you see my, so, my social media, I live in the lake, so I got a lot of pictures of the lake, a lot of pictures on the boat. and. And then I'm pushing my business and I do videos. I do this long one and I do a short form and the short form video is less than 60 seconds. <coughs> Usually less than 30. And when I do it, I put it on Facebook stories, which goes to Instagram stories. I put it on reels, which goes to Instagram reels. I put it on Twitter, I put it, or X, X. And then I put it on threads. And then I put it on LinkedIn and I put it on YouTube. I am all over the place. So, hey, here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to go and watch a five minute video. Joinmark.biz, and I'll have the link right below. Joinmark.biz, and I will help you build a business. I'll give you all the tips and tricks I know on how to build a business, because I am rocking this thing. Joinmark.biz.